I'm Ben Mead, I'm the founder and CEO of Ibo Botanicals and its wholly owned subsidiary, United Agarwood Planters. As the leader of the Philippines agarwood industry, today we are commencing a very important research and development initiative here in Malacca, in Malaysia. Malacca being the original home of Aquilaria malacensis, hence the name Malacca malacensis. As I've mentioned many times, um, the success in agarwood comes not just from planting the tree. A lot of people underestimate the critical importance of a number of steps right through the, the, the value chain, from growing the tree with a legal seedling, planting it in the right environment with the right practices, using the right inoculant. The inoculation technology needs to be well proven and well accepted in the market. And then the connection to the market is the final piece. Uh, today, the research and development initiative concerns the inoculation aspect of agarwood production, which for me is really the most important part. Uh, we started planting agarwood in the Philippines uh, around about three years ago. So we're, we're still maybe a year or more away from starting to inoculate our trees. Um, we have also licensed a really exciting inoculation technology developed by the University of Malaysia, which is Udino. A lot of research and development has been done with Udino, and I've certainly um, spent many, many hours working through the days there and collaborating with the scientists. But for me, it's really important that we also uh, familiarize ourselves with the technology and we go through an exercise where we inoculate the trees so we can really start to optimize and understand the best practices as relates to the use of the Udino. So the waste also have a value. So they put the waste. Like the waste. Like the waste. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. The smell of I'm Dr. Saiful from the Bioaromatic Research Center. So my background is the analytical organic chemistry. I have uh, more than 20 years experience uh, in the agarwood industry. So my focus in the agarwood industry, I divide to four stages. Number one is the plantations. Uh, number two is the inoculation technology, which is a product is the Udino. Uh, number three, uh, I developed the certificate of analysis for the quality control of the agarwood oil and agarwood wood chips. And then uh, the last one, uh, we developed the products like the perfumes uh, based on the agarwood. This university is the University Malaysia Pahang Al Sultan Abdullah. So this is a TVEX University, Technical Vocationals. We are focused on the technical and vocational. Okay, one of the uh, focus area in this university, we developed the Bioaromatic Research Center. Uh, this center actually they focus on the aromatic plant, which is we can found in the Malaysia. For example, like the agarwood, uh, patchouli, uh, lemongrass, and others. So, uh, based on uh, this aromatic research. We focus on uh, several parts of the research. Like the number one, we focus on the technology of the uh, plantation. And then number two, we focus also on the uh, technology in the extractions. And then uh, number three, we focus on the products uh, developments. This bioaromatic research center is uh, what we call here is a really focused center uh, in the aromatic plant, uh, start from the fundamental research, uh, innovations, and anti total commercialization uh, products. Yeah, the whole value chain related to the aromatic spine. United Agarwood Planters has taken an important initiative where we've acquired a plantation of mature Aquilaria malacensis trees here in Malacca. These are trees ready for inoculation, but they haven't yet been inoculated. And so what we're doing is uh, inoculating the trees using the Udino, uh, following the best practices from the University of Malaysia. And then also side-by-side -side comparison of two other inoculants, which are very well regarded. They're endorsed by the Malaysia Timber Industry Board. And um, what this will do will allow us to see the side-by-side -side comparison of the Udino with the two other products. What will become apparent as we showcase what we're doing here is that Different inoculation technologies work in different ways. We will show you how the Udino can be used for the production of wood chip as well as biomass for agarwood oil or oud production. The other two technologies primarily focused on 
agarwood oil production and that's a function of the way the, the products work as well as um, some of the efficiencies on, on operating here in, in, in Malaysia given the you know, labour costs and, and things like that. So with the plantation, we are inoculating all of the trees this week. Um, and so we will have side-by-side -side comparison to validate uh, the performance of the Udino compared to the other products as it relates to the quality of the agarwood, as it relates to the yield, as it relates to the return on investment. And so um, there's really nothing like doing it yourself. And so that's what, we're, that's what we're investing in here today. You just select at the spot. If you want to grow the microbe and the fungus, so the conditions are very important. I first met with Professor Seifel around about two years ago. So he leads the University of Malaysia Pahang Bioaromatics Research Center. So this is a dedicated research center for agarwood and other botanicals, though to date, the vast majority of their efforts have been on agarwood production. And I was extremely impressed with their very structured and scientific approach to inoculation and, and agarwood production. Udino, which is their signature product, the inoculant that we've licensed exclusively for the Philippines. So United Agarwood Planters represents this product for our plantations and any third party planters exclusively in the Philippines. I was impressed that um, the approach they took in developing the product was to go and identify uh, the chemical compounds in the wild agarwood uh, at different grades. So they collected different grades of agarwood in the jungle under a special license from the Malaysian government. They then identified the compounds that correlated to the more premium quality or, or the higher demand for the, for the wild agarwood. What they found is that um, a certain type of compound called um, sesquiterpenes, basically a very strong positive correlation between the level of sesquiterpenes and the value and, and demand for the agarwood. So more sesquiterpenes, higher demand, higher price. They then continued to refine their inoculant to maximize uh, the production of the, the natural occurrence of these sesquiterpenes in the artificially inoculated agarwood. And it's very safe to say today, and I know because I've seen this firsthand with Dr. Seifel, that trees inoculated, so plant legal registered plantation trees inoculated with Udino, produce a quality that is on par with wild agarwood, such that when that plantation product is presented to buyers, if they're not told this is from a plantation, they think this is a wild quality of agarwood, and that's very, very exciting. So around here, maybe you need to adjust, okay, of the injection, maybe around 5 cm. I have more than 15 years, okay, developed the inoculation uh, products. It's based on the fundamental research entered to the why agarwood in the forest. We try to identify, we try to understand what is the situations or the conditions, uh, the formations of the high quality of the agarwood. What is the factors influence uh, the formations of the agarwood in, uh, for the white tree? Based on this idea, these informations, we collect all the high quality agarwood data high quality agar resin and then we try to classify what is the main factors uh, contribute to the formations of the high quality of the agarwood. So based on this one, we pattern one product we call the Udino. Udino is scientific products, okay, based on the organics, free from all the chemicals we develop, we aim, we assume, we target we can produce the quality of the agarwood uh, similar like the Y1 uh, today. We can say that we are success to produce the high quality of the agarwood resin similar to the Y1 based on the human factors like the previous method and the modern methods, the modern techniques. That, that is our achievement for the Udino. It is still a problem that wild agarwood is continuing to be poached from the forest, is still continuing to be supplied into international markets, but there is absolutely no question that the vast majority of production has to move to legal, sustainable and plantation agarwood industry. So when you have an inoculation technology that produces a quality that is on par with the best quality wild agarwood, 
that's an extremely exciting dynamic and it means that the transition from wild to plantation agarwood will be much more rapid and much more easily accepted by the industry.